The similarities between Revelation and Joshua are remarkable. Joshua 5.13 Joshua and the Captain of the Lord's Host The Captain is Jesus. Joshua's name means, Jehovah saves. The same word in the New Testament is Jesus. Joshua is a type of Jesus. Joshua and the Captain of the Lord's Host Stephen giving the Jews the link between Jesus and Joshua. Acts 7.45 when Jesus led our ancestors to dispossess the nations God drove out before them. Henry Morris Study Bible Possibly. Stephen inserted the name of Jesus here deliberately. In order to subtly call attention to the parallel ministries of Joshua who conquered Canaan. And Jesus who had come to conquer Satan, sin, and death. Acts 7.45 Stephen gives Jesus the credit for the victory recorded in the book of Joshua. Possibly because of the parallel ministries of Joshua who conquered Canaan and Jesus who had come to conquer Satan, sin, and death. In Joshua 6, there were seven priests blowing seven trumpets. In Revelation 8, there are seven angels blowing seven trumpets. In Joshua 6, we see the Ark of the Covenant. In Revelation 11, still part of the Trump judgments, we suddenly see the Ark of the Covenant. In Joshua, it is Jericho that must fall before the people can enter the promised land. In Revelation, it is Babylon that falls. Joshua 6 10 Joshua commanded the people, saying, You shall not shout nor let your voice be heard nor let a word proceed out of your mouth, until the day I tell you, shout. Then you shall shout. Revelation 8 to 1. Silence in heaven. Joshua is a type of Christ. In both name and work. Note the amazing silence at Jericho, Joshua 6.10, and the silence recorded in Revelation 8.1, associated with the trumpet judgments. Revelation 8.1. The seven trumpet angels. Silent. Just prior to starting their work. And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven. Then, when the Lamb opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour. Then I saw the seven angels who stand before God. And seven trumpets were given to them. In Joshua the sixth chapter, Jericho was destroyed. In the Revelation we learn that Babylon is destroyed. Rahab and her family were saved and delivered from Jericho. Those who belong to Jesus are told to come out of Babylon before Jesus destroys Babylon. Revelation 18.4 Babylon, the wicked city of the Antichrist will be utterly annihilated. Isaiah 13, Jeremiah 50 and 51, Revelation 18 The Antichrist will lead many nations against Jesus. Jesus will defeat them all and rule over the earth. The captain of the Lord's host was Jesus. The captain was victorious. Joshua served and worshipped Captain Jesus. We serve and worship Jesus too. Psalms 146 through 150 and Revelation 19. Comment by Dr. Henry Morris. The word Hallelujah is found only four times in the New Testament. All four. In the 19th chapter of Revelation, Hallelujah means, Praise ye the Lord. The most frequent use of Hallelujah is found in Psalms 146 through 150. The themes of both is the great and glorious King Jesus, and his rightful place on the throne of the cosmos and his unending union and fellowship with all his creation, especially the redeemed saints. Revelation 19 Alleluia! 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 Yes, hallelujah.